Hey everybody, this is Baby Bear and I would like to address my last video. I would have done it sooner, but I've been busy today, but I was like, no, I gotta address this video because I did not realize the mistake that I made. I didn't realize it until Sapphire was like, you totally fucked up. And I was like, no, I didn't. And she's like, no, you did. And then I went back and then I realized that I did fuck up. Even though all of you were on my ovaries in the comments saying that I fucked up, I was like, no, I didn't. Because I didn't actually see that I put the lucky stones on the first runestone specialty thing, okay? I didn't see it. I just didn't. I was multitasking. I was singing. I don't even give a shit about this keep anymore because I'm not going to use it in the future. So, like, I... My whole point was to show you guys the critical hits on the Lucky Stones when I put it to eight. That was what I was trying to show you, but instead I made the hugest, biggest mistake and nobody in Ebony is going to ever let me forget it. So that's why I'm going to address it. So I don't want any new C5 babies watching this video thinking that it's okay to put Lucky Stones on the first specialty. So that is just a no-no. And... Honestly, you see here that, like, it's orange, but kind of looks yellow, okay? So, in my brain, I'm like, ah, oh, it's yellow. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the rune stones um, with the lucky stones. And, um, and so that's my mistake, all right? So, you see my mistake happen in real time right now. And uh, so, yeah, so you see these hits, by the way. If you go to eight you're going to get those times two. And I don't know, you can try the 10, but I feel like the 10 is kind of a waste. So I just do the eight. And so you see here that I realized that I made a mistake because you don't see me putting the lucky stones down. So this was like, I don't know, a long time ago. So in my mind, I knew that I fucked up. And then when I got to the green to the last specialty, then I put the stones back on. Now, in the comments, I thought people were talking about me putting the stones on the green for the last specialty because they said you put it on the first one. I thought they meant the first of the four specialty, but no, they were talking about the very first one where I have like 190k rune stones. So yes, I messed up. Totally messed up. Now, I also got shit on that song on the last one, but let me explain that as well because number one, in my head, I, I listen to Sing, where he says, if you're going to be a bird, just be a fucking bird and just who cares, right? But I had a couple of people make some nasty comments about the song, and I want to explain to you. First of all, a couple of you can fuck off, right? Like, seriously, there's a stupid stalker that, like, is just gross, and another person that's just, like, an idiot. And so, yes, like, for once, I actually block some people off of my comments on YouTube, and I feel so happy about it, because, like, this person was really creepy, and it was, like, I don't know, like, even after the Hunter's interview, you're still saying creepy shit on my comments, like, I don't know, guys, it's just, I, I, I'm just over it, so anyways, I actually blocked some people, and I feel really good about it, but I do want to explain the song, so I was feeling very emotional because Electra was my very first PvP range general, the very start of this game, all right? So me retiring her was sad, but what was really sad was Kaguya has always been, like, my, like, identity for this game. She's, like, I use a bootleg Discord sticker of her on my Discord because I so identify with her, right? And uh, she's been a big part of, like, my Ebony character. And it is sad to have to leave that <laughs> investment behind. Um, so I was sad. I was sad. So, like, a lot of times I try to match my songs with my mood and with, like, the content that I'm portraying. And music is such a subjective thing. So it's like, if you don't like it, I really don't care. I mean... I definitely want the people watching my channel to like the content, but you know at this point now, it's called Baby Bear Sings. You're gonna have to get some bad songs with some of this content. You just, it's just part of it. It's just part of the deal, you know? And the thing is, is like, I hope that in some of my videos you get value, but I understand constructive criticism, but seriously, some of you can just fuck off. You know what I mean? And I don't know why I'm cussing so much. I had a 4% alcohol spritzer and I think I'm a fucking gangster now. So 
just I'm going to stop drinking. <laughs> so I might have to go back and beep all this shit out. But uh, so I have one more beef to say. Do you see this person? A hundred million power. Unshielded. A hundred million power person that came to our alliance to leech off of our rallies because he is just a leech and he's king and he's king because why because the big players support these small players being king and um this is this is the the life of my game on this server right so there's one thing about being a king you have to be fair and you have to make sure you give senior gifts to people who at least make top five in SVS, okay? At least top five. Ideally, it would be top 10, right? Senior gifts should be for the people who carry the server. I don't know any server that does not give their SVS players the senior gifts. And you will see that he gives me a medium gift, even though I got first place in points, even though we had a really tough server. Now, you'll see their points are much higher than ours because they took our throne. I already spent 25k soul trying to get those points that I did to help our server. And we were in the lead until the throne happened. And let me just show you, like, why we can't play together for SVS is because of this. So you have these 100 million power hens and desperate housewives that basically guilt there are big players to not join the bigger players to work together to fight for SVS. Now, this is coming from the time when we were fighting Bucky. And do you remember the Bucky interview where he was like, I'm not going to give you guys a throne truce if you don't fight. And so that was when I was like begging people to come join our alliance so that we could rally them in the temples so that Elsie could get king. And instead you have these simpy ass people, these desperate housewives and the hens that basically guilt their meal ticket, their rally meal ticket to not join because they don't care about SVS. They don't care about somebody else getting thrown. They only care about themselves. And these are people that I thought were friends, right? But when you realize that these are the people that are holding back the players in the server, you're never going to make headway you're never going to change if guys are simps and these desperate housewives are in their whispers doing god-awful shit in there that i have seen and i can't unsee it so that is why that is like one of the reasons why and um and it's crazy because it's like even a grown man is crying so that medusa doesn't leave for svs like why don't you be a man and join why don't you be a woman and join? Like, you know, it's just, it's it's so crazy to me. And, and, and then when I have somebody that I thought was a friend making fun that, like, he didn't give me a senior gift, even though I offered to help him get the truce because people know that I'm the one that gets the truce because they're the ones that have to fight me. And, like, I thought we were friends. Like, obviously, you can tell here I'm talking to him like, hey, I'm going to help you out, blah, 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 or do you want help? And... He didn't give me any gift. It wasn't even just like a senior gift. I had to ask him for a junior gift. And I know he was laughing with his little hens, thinking that it's funny. But again, it's like, I thought we were friends. Why would you, why would you do that? Do you know what I mean? Like, especially when I got the SVS points. Why would you, why would you do that? And then to like message me pretending like, oh, we're going to miss you. Don't be that guy. Don't be a fucking fake ass hen. I feel good getting all this off my chest because you already knew about like my enemies, right? And and this is like joined enemies. Like we were on the same side against one of the enemies. But when you find out your own friends are fucking doing this shit to you, like, and for no reason, like I've done nothing but help them. I've done nothing but protect them. I've done nothing but spend money to carry SVSs when they wanted to stay in their little farm alliance during SVS and do nothing. Like, I just don't understand. I don't understand. And finally, when we joined for challenge, it was like, okay, progress. But you know what? I just realized, like, this is not meshing. Like, Eve, I thought that I, everything would be happy when we joined together. And I just realized, like, this isn't it. I don't want to be with these people. This is just not it. They're fucking backstabbers. Um, And so... You know, the real reason why they're sad that I'm leaving is because they're going to have to spend money. 
Now they're going to have to spend money and they're going to have to carry the server and they're going to have to carry their little leeches. And that's the reality of it. So I'm not going to do it anymore. And thank you, Reign of Terror, for opening my eyes and saying, you know what? You get along with all these other servers. All these other servers recruit you. And and like it's only your server that treats you like shit. And it's so funny because I was told that the rule of one of the alliances was you can't talk to baby bear unless you're insulting her. Like that is that is just so crazy to me. And that a hundred million power king gave me a medium gift after I got first an SVS. That's what I deal with on this server. And I think it's not even the fact that it's the gift. Like on King of Avalon, that was a huge thing. If you played KVK, you get a gift. If you sacrificed your troops, you get a gift. That was a huge thing on that game, which maybe, you know, the gift on this one is like not that big of a deal. However, it does have advanced march speeds. It does have boosts. It does have things that are useful for the PvP that you, you know, like a farmer is not going to use those boosts. Like they're just going to get the 2k gems and that's it, you know, but I think it's just more of the respect. Like, why why do I have to keep fighting for a specific, you know, placement where everybody else on every other server has their hierarchy established and they don't go out of their way to disrespect somebody or make fun of them or for whatever reason? I don't know if it's because they don't like my YouTube channel. I don't know what the deal is. But the truth of the matter is, is I have helped them since the start of the server. I've protected them against the freaking alliance that harassed everybody. I helped them grow. I helped a no big player alliance when they were like number eight. I went and joined them and I helped them. And I don't understand, like, you know, it just... What I feel like happened was these hens, these free-to-play players, they wanted their free meal tickets and they wanted the control over the big players that were the simp guys, right? And so Sapphire and I went to PSP to help PSP because they were a small alliance and we found that we meshed with PSP really well. And so we wanted to start PVPing there. And we found that we didn't really miss the hens and all the, you know, like... It's cool to, like, have fun chat and, and you know, kind of be, like, silly and flirty and whatever. But then there's, like, when it's overboard and people are breaking up marriages and there's drama and you're, like, all in the same alliance and you everybody knows, like, what's going on. And it's just filthy and gross. And the real reason why I'm leaving, like, I'm leaving it out of this YouTube channel because I promised that I would... But you can contact me in Discord and I will tell you why I am really leaving the server. But as you see, like, I'm giving you guys enough ammo and reason for leaving other than this big, big, dirty piece of laundry that I'm not going to say. But, um, and you know, like, you're seeing these rallies here that are really slow to fill, like, almost a minute long. So people get it. You know, when I'm like, you know, we can't even fill a rally under 15 seconds. Um, you know, I think people get it. And so I I kind of want to just put all of this out there so that I can finally put it behind me. You know, because I know a lot of people thought, like, it's the Civil War and it's the enemies. And it was. It was a lot of Missy and her alliance and that harassment. She went so far as to record her friend talking shit about her alliance and saying it was me and um it, this was this was coming from butcher he's german and he's like but i don't think she knows that i understand english and he's like i saw your youtube channel and your voice is not the same as that other girls so she was that psycho to like get people to disrespect me and and she was the one that made the comment of you can't talk to baby bear unless you're insulting her so, like, I've just been through the ringer on this game, and, like, it is just a game, and it is just supposed to be fun, and I feel like, I feel like I don't want to say that I wasted my time and money on this server, because what I did get out of it was, you know, the moment that I was like, you know what, I really don't like this server, 
I'm going to start just making some entertainment for myself, getting like some entertainment and ROI from that factor of YouTube. And I will have to thank the server because (laughs) I wouldn't have started making stupid YouTube videos that, you know, eventually people started watching. And then I wouldn't have met a really amazing community. And I wouldn't have met all the other friends that I have met. And I just think it's just, you know, we all go through these things for a reason. And I know a lot of people contact me because you guys are going through the same things. And I'm sharing this because a lot of you, a lot of you are going through the same stuff. And if I can leave behind this keep, which I'm not going to disclose how much it is, but it's a lot of money. If I can leave this behind and be like, you know what, I feel better now, you guys can do it too, right? Like, all of these big interviews, they keep saying it, like, just leave it behind and start new. And and here's my requirement, right, for, like, going to a new server. I definitely have to have a keep that's better than what I have. That's the only way that I'm going to be able to, to do that move. Like, and I really appreciate all of you guys who've reached out. And, and honestly, like if you guys want PR and if you want me to help recruit for your alliances, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for thinking about me and my friends that I want to bring with me. Thank you for offering your keeps and, and offering a place in your alliance. I think that's really special and I feel very, very honored and really from the bottom of my heart, I want to help you out. So just let me know if you guys want me to help you recruit for your alliance because you know, it's it's a very nice feeling to know that there's a lot of you out there that are trying to, you know, get people to join your alliance and, and you would think of me. So thank you for that. And um, I just think that there's so many of us in the same boat. And I actually talked to, you know, Syntax Snow. She went and joined 1013 because she was like, hey, can I join the C5 Discord? Because, you know, we were watching your your channel and your video and we feel the same way. Like we're ready to go to another server. And I was like, you should go to 1013, you know, because 1013 is is a good friend of mine. And Sapphire has a keep there and and they ended up getting keeps there. So I feel like I can help people get to other alliances and servers. If you're going through this, you know, contact me on Discord, Baby Bear Sings. Because if I can help anybody out in the situation that I'm in, that would make me feel so good, right? Like, I would feel so good to know that I can get you out of a bad situation and into a game that you finally deserve to play. And I'm going to post this, but I'll probably end up deleting it because I think I just aired out so much dirty laundry. And that's not really how I wanted to go out. But I think this is better than me burning everybody. Because at the end of the day, somebody's got to buy my account. And whoever buys it, you're going to be very, very strong compared to the server. And there are people that I do still like and care about. So I do go back and forth on how I want to leave and exit. And I think it's just one of those things where, you know, I've always fought for peace. I've always fought for nap. And... I think it's only fitting for me to go out that way, but, you know, that's not 100% certain, but I want to hope that is that way. So anyways, guys, thanks for listening.